people with dementia um, can ask you know the same question over they are making statements that aren't necessarily true they're looking for a loved one who's dead they want to go home um, they have the wrong day they're putting on clothes back to front um, and I suppose to stop feeling a need to correct somebody so if I say today is Tuesday you know and it's and it's Thursday in that moment this is my reality it's Tuesday so unless it's something serious or dangerous or I have an appointment that you need to alert me to there's no need there's no there's no need to correct me or or, or tell me I'm wrong or tell me I'm right somebody will ask a question um, I may ask it four times in the space of five minutes. Well, you can imagine, we do it with children, where your tone gets this little bit, you know, more agitated or cross, and people are busy, they have, they have lives going on all around, caring for this person with dementia. Um, you know, in dementia, there really isn't right or wrong, it's in the moment. So in the moment I'm asking you this question, I don't remember I've asked it four times, or that I've forgotten it four times. Um, I've passed that on to many, 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 many carers and been amazed at the difference and the change in, in, in the calmness, you know, because if, I, if I'm hearing you get cross with me for the third time, I've no idea what you're getting cross at. So I can become frightened and agitated inside of me. It's quite hard, I've seen it with my own guys, where I've asked them the name of a person who I know, and I know the name of the person, and even one of my sons recently totted at me, you know, and it, 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 it caused an awareness in me that he's looking at me, seeing me as I am, unchanged, um, and, and yet he was getting a little bit frustrated that I was asking the same question.